in this video we can craft armor from any item in the game and we're going to be going through seven different recipes that can completely change the way armor works in minecraft all right guys in this world we can craft armor from literally any block in the game dirt wood stone ruined portal <laughs> How lucky is that? Let's start off with the basics, though. Grab some wood here. Just a couple, boom. And we're gonna see if we can turn these into planks and craft some wooden armor. Give me that last log. Got all the logs. First things first, throw all those in there, get the planks, and we're gonna need a crafting table. And the moment of truth, two planks. We get ourselves some <laughs> wooden clogs. We can do some dancing with these bad boys. Let's throw these wooden clogs on. What do we get? Plus one armor. Ah, these. Whoa, my gosh. What just happened? Wait, do you hear that? It sounds so loud running around. Listen to this. Sounds like we have the chunkiest feet in the world right now. All the, I think the mobs are, oh gosh. They can't stand the sound. The mobs, when we get near them, they get so confused from the sound of these clogs and they just blow up. Okay, it's actually kind of dangerous because they really do just nuke. And I have to be close enough for them to explode. Is it too close? He's spinning. Now he's spinning. I'm this close, but it might kill me. Will it kill me? I'm a little nervous to try it out. Okay, before we put this to the complete test, let's maybe grab ourselves some food since it got dangerous right off the start. These clogs are intense. chicken blew up right next to us that's okay we spawned right nearby so we can get right back down ever so carefully back to our wooden clogs really what i should have done is just take the clogs off temporarily so that we could grab some basics just gotta get some defense mechanisms in place currently so that the clogs don't kill us again now we can run back now we are prepared and now we can put our clogs back on and stomp our way. Zombie. Look, he just turns. He's gonna blow up. I bet. And like, yep, just like that. Okay, gosh, they can't stand the sound. It's dangerous to be this close to them. They get so caught off guard by the sound. It destroys their ears and then instantly they just start spinning and then they're done. Who dare come to my wooden clogs? I will find you. All three of them. Watch. Hide. Whoa. <laughs> They're all instantly done. They can't do anything. These wooden clogs, oddly dangerous, but also at the same time, okay, whoa, very useful because the mobs are so distracted. And then, dead. Definitely keep them on hand if you ever find yourself in a bit of a pickle and you gotta get out. The second piece of armor that we're crafting requires a lot of totems, as you can see, but we better start crafting it very soon. We have to quickly craft ourselves our totem chest plate using all of these totems of undying. Now we're going to put the totem chest plate on and you wouldn't notice anything at first glance. But if we find ourselves something that we really want, like say these blazes over here, we can just go farm the exact same blaze over and over again. And we don't have to ever worry about going down. Farm the blaze, farm the blaze. Watch what happens. He goes down because no matter how close we get to going down with the totem chest plate on, we can just instantly get revived right away <laughs> and continue onward. Whoa! More blazes. Fight me. Fight me. Ah! Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing down here? We can be utterly fearless running around with absolutely no worries whatsoever. Oh, you think you can take me on, huh? You think you can take me on? See you, buddy. Bye. Bye. See ya. Sayonara. I feel like I'm just being even more reckless now that we have the totem chest plate. There's absolutely no fear whatsoever. 
I mean, realistically, we could probably just jump into the lava and respawn in the lava over and over and over again. I mean, it might be a little hectic because we just keep dying over and over and over and over and over. But no matter what we do, there's no chance that anything will ever take us out. Just died. I'm trying to get back up to the blazes. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Where'd they go? There's the spawner. Oh my gosh. This is... Okay. Actually, though, we've been farming so many of these blazes. Only three blaze rods? What is this drop rate? I've got the most OP chest plate on, and the drop rate of the blaze rods is just nonsense. There we go. You guys get the point. Super OP chest plate. Final test. This better work, or else... Wait a second. It shot us back to the overworld, even though we respawned with the totem chest plate because it didn't want us to keep dying. It's like smart AI totem chest plate galore. Uh, we didn't end up with enough blaze rods, though. That's all right. All right. The third piece of armor that we're going to be testing out today, which is useful to test out with this totem chest plate on because this thing is delicious. And this next piece, not so delicious. Same thing with TNT as the clogs, but we're going to craft the TNT boots. Oh, these bad boys on. And now, oh, I forgot. Okay. Yep. Any block we jump on is going to turn to TNT. Uh, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. Oh! Now the only safe thing that we can do, if we jump on a block with the, with the TNT boots, we can't activate another block until that one explodes. So we've got safety there. But if we get stuck down here, we have to get out before that TNT explodes or else we're gonna be stuck down below near the TNT explosions and not be able to climb out. Unfortunately, that block now turned to TNT and we're dead. Well, not really because we've got our super totem chest plate of undying. Set off one near the chickens. They survived. You invincible chickens. You won't survive that, I bet. Oh, you will. Oh my gosh, you crazy, crazy chickens. How fast can we dig with the TNT boots on? Dig straight down. Should probably stand right in the center because... Love that it lets us know that we blew up and then yet we just keep climbing down. Okay, stop the, cl stop the climb down. Stop the climb down. Take the boots off. Take the boots off. Stop the climb down. Our totem chest plate almost dead. I'm really glad I noticed that. We would have been happily going down and then just nuked because our totem chest plate broke. Boots off. Climb back to the surface. These TNT boots, very, very destructive. Be extremely careful walking around with the TNT boots. These things will create havoc. And if you're able to collect loads of enchanting tables, that this might be the armor for you. How did I lose my craft table? Oh, I probably blew it up with boots. With enchanting tables, we can craft boots, chest plate, helmet, and leggings. Oh my word full enchanting table armor look at this stuff it looks so delicious whoa, 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 whoa. what did we just pick up hold on we just got an egg with depth strider 3 aqua affinity and fire aspect what if we break a log instantly enchanted oak log with silk touch on it will this actually work then we got a grass block with protection four and fortune three. Can this work for our normal items? If we have the full enchanting set on, drop the iron pick on the ground, pick it back up, piercing and looting. There we go, piercing and looting. Bye, bye, give me your enchanted meat. And that's our delicious multi-shot raw mutton.
tasty, tasty treats. Take this iron pickaxe down, 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 down. Ouch. Whoa, here we go, piercing. Looting, looting and piercing. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. You too. Bye. We redropped our iron pickaxe and now we have protection for it, Fortune 3. Ah, pretty useful, I'd say. Only problem is all these blocks, because they have different enchants on them, are just stacking in such an awkward way. Hey, wait, that one was knocked back too. That could be useful. Multi shot, don't need that. That's ridiculous. too excited change of plans though i put on a full set of the enchanting armor and i've got ourselves a trident unenchanted drop the trident down instantly enchanted what did we get channeling <laughs> drop it down again pick it back up multi-shot what in the world is a multi-shot trident gonna do nothing drop it down again Pick it back up. We got protection in Fortune 3. Drop it down. Pick it back up. Silk touch. The most useful way to use a trident ever. Every single time that we drop items and pick them back up, regardless of the item that, they, that it is. Could be a block. Could be this feather, for example. Drop it down. Pick it back up. It gets re-enchanted with a different set of enchants. Drop. Pick up. Re-enchanted. The most enchanted feather in all of history. Hey, how dare you withstand my trident? But we need to dig a hole and hide all of these secret enchanted items down inside the hole. And then try out a new armor recipe. And that is crafting ourselves a delicious chest plate. First thing we gotta do is craft some diamond apples, which is a little easier than the golden apples. One diamond, one apple, diamond apple. All the diamonds, all the apples, seven diamond apples. Now, our diamond apple chest plate. As soon as we toss this bad boy on, we instantly get all of the effects of, say, an enchanted golden apple, but we get ourselves the blue hearts, and the effects are infinite. Diamond hearts and regeneration too. So we could freely run around and do whatever we want with a diamond apple chest plate. But now, fearless, completely fearless, like the totem chest plate. Except this diamond chest plate will last much longer. You guys don't last a chance. How dare you? Oh. <laughs> some gold the diamond apple chest plate which one would you rather have on hand the totem chest plate or the diamond apple chest plate the totem chest plate you've got to go all the way down to zero to regain the diamond apple chest plate you could slowly build back up as you're on your way down i mean so you're never really on your way down you're kind of just always on your way up that sounded kind of philosophical I don't know. Kind of makes me want to use the diamond apple chest plate a little more. You guys, stop attempting. Stop attempting. Infinite diamond apple abilities. Highly, highly, highly useful. There's only one way for us to remove the effects if we wanted to, I believe. We'd have to climb up high enough and jump off so that we could take ourselves out in one fall. And that would be the one situation, I think, that the actual totem chest plate would be more useful than the diamond apple. Or, of course, if we fell in lava like we did. That totem chest plate would definitely have come in way more handy. The diamond apple chest plate would not save us then. It would not save us. The totem chest plate would be needed. But it's time to go on the offensive. And we're gonna craft ourselves a helmet using all bows. Bow, 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 and bow. And it looks like a top hat, a bow helmet. The bow helmet. 
toss this thing on our helmet right now. Look at this bad boy right there. Oh my word. It looks like our head's gonna get slammed and shot out of this bow. But that isn't quite how it works. Using the bow helmet, we automatically fire arrows out at mobs that we can see. It just fires from our brain. It's like automatic fire. Oh, it can miss though. It can definitely miss. Oh, the range is insane. And there's no drop off though. Did you see that arrow? Hold on. If we miss the horse, it just shoots straight off into the distance. Bye. These guys don't last a chance. Just all we've got to do is just look at the mob that we want to shoot and boom, shots out. Oh, he just barely missed. Ooh, bye bye, buddy. How you doing, folks? <laughs> this bow helmet actually really useful. As long as you land the shots every single time, you can nuke almost anything that comes across your path. But one addition that we should make to the bow helmet is our final armor that I wanna show you right now. And this one is just wild. Using ender pearls, we can craft the ender pearl boots. And these bad boys will teleport us anytime we jump to whatever direction or a random direction nearby. Jump, teleport. Jump, teleport. Using our bow, helmet, fire at the mobs, jump, new mobs. Fire, jump, new mobs, new mobs. Boom, boom. There's a tiny cooldown on the teleportation though. So we can't just click space over and over again. If we try to, we will just jump right afterwards. So we gotta wait a fraction of a second, take a step, and then we can space again and we'll teleport randomly from there. The beautiful thing is that we'll never teleport into the sky using these boots. I look like such an idiot right now with this bow on my head. We'll always teleport somewhere safe just dig straight down into the earth and if we hit the lava now there's no chance there's no chance I'm actually getting kind of nervous as we're going down really just a tad bit nervous wow this is like is there gonna be straight to bedrock back to the surface with the boots on <laughs> these boots are insane